Hey, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys can hear me. I hope it's running smoothly and no choppiness. We'll see, we'll find out. Hey, Oswina and Linda, hello, greeting. Okay, everything seems to be uh, looking okay. So, <clears throat> as long as everything's cool. Can you guys uh, see me? Is everything running all right? Just need to know before I go. Here you're fine. Thank you, Linda. Everything running smoothly. Smoothly. When I run my hand across the board, you guys can see it. Everything's in focus. Everything's good. How you doing, Hoswina? It's good to see you. Well, this is the start of another instruction series. Um, I already pre-named it part one. Okay. Um, this one's going to entail a couple of subjects. All right, good, good. Okay. Um, what was in the list was um, a mountain sunset with an eagle. That was one subject, all right. I can't seem to get away from these animals. And uh, the other subject was shallow water with reflections with pebbles or rocks in them. All right, so we got a, we got a few things going on here. So, hey Billy, if Billy, yep, I can see Billy. All right, thank you, Billy. Um, yeah, you're right, Linda, so far so good, right? Yeah, yeah the stream isn't over yet. Um. I will most likely introduce things and everything uh, in these series with my, sorry, with my face here. And then when we get onto it, I'll just switch the camera and then this will spread out. You guys get a proper representation of um, what's gonna be done today. All right. So since we're doing um, a few things at once, and obviously it's gonna be a part one um, and probably part two video. We're gonna do a sunset. Um, we'll probably put the trees in and, and the mountain in. Um, we'll see how I feel and how it goes. And um, maybe we'll do something with the water or whatnot. Don't know yet. Okay, um, as you can see the eagle I um, used my DaVinci device on my um, on my iPad, or iPad, iPhone, and um, I got a nice image of the eagle mid-flight. I adjusted the size of the eagle, and so there you go. I did mask uh, the eagle. All right, so it's all set and prepared. All right, I've got videos on how to mask um, the creatures or whatever subject you want masked I've got that a couple times and um, probably in my one-on-one -on -one list 
um, on YouTube. Okay. All right. So I guess we're just going to get right on to it. On the lower right hand side, we have leftover color from the floral that I did with the pour. Um, we got our yellow, green, white, black, light blue, dark blue, and red. All right. Obviously, a lot of those colors are going to be used for the sunset itself. Okay. All right. I'm debating how I should approach the sunset, whether I should just use water or should I use the, uh, the glycerin. And I'll probably end up using the water more likely or I can use the glycerin and dip it into the paint and do it that way there's a few ways you can do it obviously okay we are going to totally cover up the ego we're going to act like the ego does not exist we're going to we're going to paint right through the beastie okay um and you can probably see it the mountain ranges I'm drawing on the ego but the mountain ranges like here and it continues on and we're going to make the 10 Mr. Eagle is nowhere to be found all right, we're going to paint right through the eagle. The eagle more than likely will be the last thing we're going to paint. So obviously the eagle will be part two. Um, we'll take our time with the eagle and, and I'll discuss a whole bunch of things with it. All right. Okay. Um, they want a sunset. All right. No problem. That's a lot of, um, or what is it? Sunset or a sunrise? Let me make sure what we got here. It's a mountain sunset with an eagle. All right, it's a sunset. Cool. Um, we're going to need some purple. All right, sunsets have purple. Sunrises do not. All right, so we're going we're gonna to have to pop some purple in there. That's all good in the hood. Okay, I guess what I'll do to get things a rolling is to get me um, a brush. I guess I'll use one of these little scraggly animal hair brushes here. A little, little stiff, a little rough, but we'll use this to form our clouds and, and do our a little fun things like that. What I will do is zoom in on the eagle. Um, I can reach back here and do that. That's one of the advantages of a camera like this is that I can zoom in. We'll fill it right in there and I'll move it over a little bit. Uh, I'll move it this way. And since we're concentrating on the eagle, I'm gonna have to I'll have to lift this up a little. So hopefully I don't destroy things doing this. We'll see. And then I'll just adjust it slowly. Alright. Whoops, I'm sorry. My hand is hitting the ring light and all of that. I just want to adjust this in a way to where you guys get most of it. And that's, that's pretty good. I don't have to um, go crazy with it. All right. So we're going to concentrate on getting this sky right. All right. Okay. And we should somewhat be in focus with this camera. All I got to do is touch the screen and we'll pop everything in focus. You guys can see the lettering just fine. We're good to go. All right, then. Uh, well, let's get to it. I guess I can use an extremely thin amount of glycerin to get this thing rolling along. I'm going to use th just this brush. All right. Now glycerin the whole thing. I already know where the, where the trees are going to be. All right. Obviously, this is a much smaller brush, so I can really fine tune some stuff. And I can just scrub the glycerin on there because you want a really thin amount of glycerin on this. Very thin, very thin, very thin. And I only have a one inch brush. I'm wiping off most on the, on the lip of the uh, container. And I can just drag what um, the glycerin around on the paper. I can scoop it up and put it here. All right, go down below the mountain a little bit. Because we're going to put our sky obviously all up into the mountain, go around his head here. Now, as long as the tape is on there pretty decent, hopefully, a lot of this won't seep into the tape. But if it does, it's no matter because we're going to paint over that anyway. So, no, no big deal. All right, now if I feel like I got a little too much on, I can just wipe it away. 
You can take a towel, wipe it away, because you only need a, a super thin amount of this stuff. All right. Okay. I see we got some little hairs starting to join the party. It's all good though. All right. Nice. A special hooks on the board. Take a picture of it and show it to me. Show me what you got. Now, I, you can see I did replace my board. I don't. I didn't really want to replace this because this is what I was going to do my pencil art on. But I can always go buy another board just like this at the heart store. So no big deal, no big sweat. All right, and I'm just used to seeing a board on here and I can just prop my, prop my. Uh, well, my my boards are taped on the back. This is just border stuff. And plus, I got it a little longer so I can just secure it. So it's no, no big thing. You know, it works for me. I'm, I'm good with it. I'm cool with it. A little crooked. A little crooked. Let's see if I can adjust that. A little crooked. Oops. Oops. Ugh. <laughs> Bring it back there. All right, now, that's just me. Because I, I, I see this little spot right in here. So as long as it's straight, I'm straight. Okay, enough of that. Let's go with our um, let's go with our titanium white right here. We'll mix it right here. Put a little bit of yellow in there. All right, just like that. We'll just mix it in there, just like so. So we're thinking sunset. Okay, and we'll just kind of play around all up in here. Now, why am I mixing white with this? Well, I'm mixing the white in with the yellow because it makes it a little opaque. Follow me. Okay. It's a sunset, sunset, sunset. I gotta think, sunset. Okay. I'm gonna get a touch of red just in the, in the corner of the brush right here. All right. And I'll, I'll pepper it in there. Yes, I'm painting on the eagle. It doesn't matter. Make pretend the eagle doesn't exist, remember? Okay, remember, eagle's gone. Eagle don't exist. It's an invisible eagle now. We'll bring some of that red up in here. There's a reason why I'm bringing this red up here. And you notice I'm going kind of on the horizontal end of things here. Okay. So there's a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm going to strengthen up that red out here. Okay. Continue on with your painting red through the bird. Don't kill the flow of your painting, basically. All right. All right, we got our, bl our blue. What blue do I want? Do I want this lighter blue or do I want the darker blue? Let's go with the darker blue. So we got our blue going all up in here, okay? And we're gonna bring our blue right on top of that red. Because blue and red makes what? Make purple, right? Rub all of that in there. Put all that joy up in there. I'm not really worried about um, it being all pretty and stuff as of yet. We'll get it there. Right now we're just gonna mix all of that in there put it in there I'm gonna get a little more red so I can get some of that purple more of that purple going up on top and if I have to um, lighten it with some white I will don't know yet add a little more red up in there and get it nice and purple that purple going. So that's a mixture of the blue and the red together. It'll give us that purple. Come on the other side, pop it in there. Once again, I want that purple to kind of come through. There. All right. 
and I'll keep it pretty much like I said horizontal ish get a slight touch of white and we'll kind of bring out that purple a little bit more so we're gonna mix all of that in there a little light purple moving it in there so it'll turn purple on you Okay, now that I've got some things going on in here, soft brush I'm gonna go with the lighter colors first and really rub it in there back and forth back and forth see I'm going straight across back and forth back and forth little glow happening down there we'll straighten all of that out too so don't worry about that I'm gonna go into a touch of glycerin I will put the glycerin here by the yellow or on the yellow a little touch of red in there we'll orange it up a little bit a oh, slight touch of white okay it's a little bit of a little bit of glycerin, a little bit of orange happening there. Put some of that in here, off and on. And I'm just blurring out some of that red and help move that along. Put it around top of the red. It activates the paint. some of that up here bring a little bit of that up there all right I'm trying to see what brush I used I can't find it it wasn't this one I don't know where it is that's all right come here and once again back and forth with it back and forth a strong will strong mind causes mayhem we can change the world change times rearrange them okay that's it guys that's it let's take a touch of touch of white i did not clean the brush that's a small touch of uh titanium white we're gonna come here a little brightness in there just a small touch a little hint of of some some light going on in there over here on the other side other side really won't matter too much because of um the trees that's all right once again paint it like nothing's there okay put it right in there paint it like you, you you don't have a bird in there paint it like you know the animal doesn't exist yet nice and try to paint your fur doggy good good deal Good deal. You tell Will I said hello. Oh, I see my squares back. I thought I gave you guys the other, um, well, I'm not really worried about the square. We're not going to look at that. I meant to give you the full shot. So that was really my bad. So let's do it this way there all right i meant to give you guys a full shot and not really look at me okay um bear with me let me raise this up, up a little bit like up there was it there i think that's good pop the focus back on there for 
for you guys. All right, so you still got the left and right side, you got the top. So we're in here, we're good, okay? If I have to move anything around, and then I'll, I'll adjust it accordingly. But right now we don't. Let's take, we're gonna go into our, we got a sunset, all right? Let's, uh, let's pop a mountain in there real quick. Um, before I do that, let's throw a piece of tape in there because I just want the, um, I just want the mountain. I don't want to deal with the water yet. So, we're going to play with our mountain here. I'll just take where I see the horizon line here. I'll go a little bit low like that. That's it. So we just got a little bit of a block there. Okay. All right, let's move this up and out the way. Uh, we'll put it over there. All right. So let's get a mountain mix going. I'm just, I'm just checking things. Um, let's add, now I'm going your mountain mix is a little dark, it's, it's, it's cool. So I'm getting a little bit of blue, getting a little bit of red on top of that black, and we'll mix it in there. Keep mixing it. It's not gonna be totally black. Okay. Obviously, there's going to be bits of the mountain that obviously you, you will not see. There's no glycerin down there. All right, so I'm just using this um, knife just to mix the color. Okay, we'll take, um, no, I'll take a, let's get a half inch brush to do. I'm taking a long handled half inch brush. All right. I really don't want to add uh, glycerin in the mountain. So we'll just get up in here with this really off mix here. This nice little mountain color mix. And we'll start to sketch them out now. Um, I think I got it like right here. Something like that, it comes out that way. And we'll just start getting them out and we're done. All right. Some more in the mountain mix. I really want a nice um, nice sharp edge paint right, right on top of the eagle. All right, well, once again, I'm doing this knowing that I'm gonna peel this off, but make pretend that it is not there. Okay, make pretend. And I really want a nice sharp edge to the mountain, which is why I'm slowing it down. You make your mountains kind of um, erratic, really. Now, I'm not painting on paper, painting on canvas. Canvas got a roughness to it. So sometimes your paint may have to, this, you know what, let's put the, let's make this a little higher. Get that wing in front of the mountain. You can always adjust. As you can see, you can always adjust. All right. Okay. I like the way this mountain mix looks. We're gonna go right down to the, right down to the uh, shoreline here. I'm gonna have to make much more of this mountain mix. So let's do that right now. Now, in case you guys like the way the mountain mix looks, it is a little bit of cobalt blue. Cobalt blue, red, and black. I believe that's all I made with that. Of course, we're running out of. I don't know if I will need more of this red, but we'll put some in here anyway. I can always use it for something else. Okay. It matters a little. I'm just gonna use the brush. It was a little bit of red, put the red in there. It was some blue, 
gives us it gives us our purple okay our blue and red and then we had our black blue red and black all right we'll mix it in there okay don't be shy about it put it right in there it gives you the funky looking half black half brown look all right okay and it's just a, a mountain mix that's all but it does give you that that weird off color of um dark brown and black mix all right and it's the red that helps achieve that okay so don't let anybody tell you you can't use black to help mix colors that is a gross untruth you most definitely can all right you just witnessed it once again i'm painting right over the eagle doesn't matter go right to the tape line with it just because you paint a mountain range doesn't necessarily mean you have to have mist and fog on the bottom of the mountain all right if you look at a lot of pictures you, you don't see too much mist on the bottom of the mountains you know one you got to be there a certain time of day i just messed that one up let's go up with that come back down oh, let's straighten that up a little bit let's build ourselves a little buffer between that top and this is um pure paint thick paint that's it no water was mixed in this at all all right, the reason why I did it, because I wanted to be extremely opaque and I wanted to dry quick. So no glycerin. Um, and the reason why I'm using that method is because of the time involved. You know, this is a nice chunk of somebody's day to sit and watch this video. So for instruction purposes, usually I would water it down a little bit, but not, not today, not for this, because once again, it's, it's just the time involved. All right, all right, here we go. There you go. So you got our, our mountain range. Now look how it's beginning to look already. All right. So remember for a sunset, add purple for a sunrise. Get that purple out of there. All right, get it out of there. You can really arrange your sunrise <coughs> or your sunset any way you want. I mean, I could have put clouds in there. But the clouds um, will be really unnecessary when you have a giant eagle flying on top of it. All right. So part of your mountain range is going to be gone. Part of your sky is going to be gone, but enough of it is there to, to know what time of day it is. Okay, more or less. All right. Just got to wait for that to tack up a little bit. Okay. All right. Anybody got any questions? You guys should have some questions for me. Any questions? Any questions? And as you guys are, um, no, I'll keep, well, I don't, no, nah, I'm gonna get rid of this because it's, by the time this dries, this is gonna dry up and I can always mix some more. So we're gonna, we'll get to sculpting the mountain. Okay. But I can get rid of that little bit of color because I can always bring some of that color back. All right, all right, so. Once again, anybody got any questions? Questions, comments? I did see your latest, I believe, air, um, um, I keep wanting to say airbrushing, but it is your spray paint. Billy, he looks good. I guess nobody has anything to say. The cone is quiet. Get a little bit of black. We'll put it in there. Let's get some red. Put that in there like that. Black and red. No blue, just a black and red. So in case you wonder what black and red looks like, it looks like that, that kind of a brown, all right? Pop a little white in there. Lighten it up a bit. I'll probably lighten it up a little bit more. It needs to be a little lighter than that.
lighten it up. That's cool. That'll work. Um, let's put it right here. Let's take a bit of that. Scrape it away and go thin it out like this. All right. All right. Let us get a nice little layer of paint real thin up there. I'll put it up there. Eventually, guys, I'm going to want to purchase another camera. I really don't want to set up a going for me or anything like that, but I want to get a camera. It's going to be a really new camera. I do have one, but the HDMI don't work, but I need a camera like this one, how crisp and sharp it is, but I can't do anything with the, with the webcam. I tried it and it was just horrible because um, the webcam, obviously I can't zoom in. Therefore, it's not going to look right. So. I can't really use it for anything. All right. Oh, uh, what am I going to do here? Oh, yes, this 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 sculpts a mountain. So we'll we'll start from kind of doesn't matter where, but I'll do it. I'll do it from here. Um, me being a lefty, let me get this out of the way. I have a, the ruler, the 18 inch ruler. It's right beside me. You hear it probably clanking around. It's just gotta get that homeboy through it. It's just in my, it's in my way. Okay, we'll go this way. You see this little tip right there, this little point? We're gonna go in the middle of that point. I'm gonna lay the brush flat, all right? Like this, where that point is, and we're just gonna do one of those. Now just let, it, let the paint break. And just like that, let it, let it break and do what it do. All right, I'll clean that up there. Like that. That's the start of it. If it starts, if it looks like that, don't be all dismayed and sad. Okay, let the paint break and do what it do. Come down here like this, bring it up. Wipe some of that on the other side there. All right. So we're just going on one side for right now. Here's another tip of the mountain right here. I'll bring it around here. Once again, I'll brush some on the other side. The other side is going to be a different color, but it don't matter right now. All right, let it break apart. But you see what it's starting to look like already. All right. Uh, let's go here. Let's have this one kind of come this way. We'll brush it on down like that. Oh. Uh, Get it close to the edge if I can. All right. Get some more. Now I'm fairly certain you got no, this. Let's move this way. There we go. Um, we'll come. Oh, we'll just come around here by his bottom there, and just continue on like that. All right. Um, actually continue that his mountain peak is right here right on the bird so we'll just continue it this way right by the bird there all right let's get some more now what works for me what works for me is to have the roll of paint be pretty thin like this very thin don't over you know plus these mountains are <coughs> physically they're only what three inches <laughs> so it's not really that that um tall so I'll come this way, come down, spread it across. Just come on this way, like that. Oh, let's get rid of this, let's move that out a little bit. Once again, we can always refresh things Oh, uh, can I? Nope, I don't have enough paint. I'll get a little peek there like that and bring it down like, like this. And all different little characteristics, but look what it looks like now, even just by itself, just like this. Because you got this background and you got this off brownish red color. So it already looks like, you know, sunset over the mountains already without much 
um, I use Canva for banners and YouTube banners. I think they're also good. Also for Google. You can make it. Yeah, Canvas is pretty good. Pretty good. When I made my intro, I didn't use it. I used um, Power Director, which is a um, um, uh, video editing software I had for such a long time. And I know how to use it fairly decently, so I'm just used to that. But Canva does its thing. I, I won't lie. It does some very impressive things, Canva. All right. Can't knock it. it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Let's take. See this little. See, just leave that alone. Let's go here. Well, I'll go this way. I'm a lefty. I have to go upside down. Let's do this right here. Come back out a little bit. Just around in there. Let's get the rest of this. Spread it out. Swipe across. Just like that. Have it connect. Have it come down here. Just like so. So we got a nice little dark patch back there. Which brings you almost like another mountain range there. Okay. Alright. Let's um we'll come here. Come on down here. Let's have it join there. Like that. Um, like that. All right. All right. We'll have a, we'll have one kind of here. Get a sharp one right there. Come on, like that. Let's scoop him. Let's slide him across. Like so, right. yeah, it's just something interesting there. Okay. Well, thank you, Linda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Technically, I can leave it like that. All right. Technically. Okay. I, well, the mountains are backlit anyway. But um, I can leave it just like that. You know. But I can't. Would you like to know why I can't? Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. The eagle is pretty much not far off from that color. If you look at it, so we need some separation there, so that the eagle doesn't blend in very much with the uh, the mountains in the back. Okay, that's why I can't keep them like that. Even though it looks great, and it it hey, it looks pretty cool, it looks pretty good, but I can't keep it like that because the big bird is the same color as the mountain. All right, so you kind of have to think ahead a wee bit, okay? All right, so let's take, um, here, we'll do it again. Watch this. Watch what I'm going to do here. I'll take black, get some more black, take black here, all right, take some red again, just like this. Mix it together, mix it, mix it, mix it. That's just almost the same color we used before. All right, it's like that. Take some blue now, add the blue in there. So it's the same color, now you're adding blue in it. Okay, so now we got a mountain with a it's deeper color. Look at that blue tinge in there. All right. So it's a deeper color than um, what we used before. What? Oh, I don't have enough of that white. So let me, bear with me here, let me get some titanium white. That is masking white. I don't want masking white. Or soft white, as you would call it. Let's put the white right there. Hey, yeah, the e well, yeah, the eagle pretty much covers. <clears throat> well, the eagle, um, believe it or not, it's a little bit right of center, but he's got one hell of a wingspan. 
and the bulk of his body is covering the center of the mountain, but at an angle going going upward. Uh, actually, he's going this way for you guys. If that's his head, that's the side of his head, his beak will be here. At least he's facing this way, going in that direction. All right. So yeah, he, he's at, a, at an angle where his bottom half is covering the peak of the mountain. But once again, I do like how it looks. It is pretty slick. Um, yeah, I do. I like the way it looks, but unfortunately, he's just covering up the he's covering up the joint. Okay, let's get a little bit of white. Well, more than a little bit of white. We'll brighten it up and keep mixing. Okay, keep mixing. Now we got our original. It's about just about our original color back here. All right, we're gonna put that right here. Just get a piece of that. Put it right there. Get more blue. Okay. More blue. Get it kind of a bluish tinge to it, like that. Okay. I don't need too much of it. I don't believe. I got. I think this is enough for me to do what I need to do with it. Um, I'll spread it out like this. A couple different layers like that. All right. So we're gonna take this gray blue mix like that. And we'll kind of develop the other half of the mountain. Now, me being a lefty, okay, I can take it and just go this way with it, but we'll do we'll do it this way. Technically, I wouldn't recommend it. Because you're trying to show the other uh, side. I can get away with it. I, I kind of know where to position things. Okay, it is rather crazy. Um, what we do it this way? Get a little bit all in here. We'll wipe that all in there like that. Well, I'll just do it from. The I just use my right hand. I'm ambidextrous, so I can do it this way too. And once again, like I did with the other side, just wipe a little bit over on the other side. Like that. We're not going to cover all that darkness. And remember, this stuff gets darker as it dries. So, then yes, I'm painting on top of the bird. I gotta act like the bird doesn't exist. I'm just going in reverse. Okay. Still leave some of those nice little gaps there. Spread out your paint. I'm using, you know, using it very sparsely, very thin. Take a little bit of this color right here. Just add blue to it. Just like that. And we're gonna take this really thin, put it out there, put it really thin across. I'm just wiping it across. I got a beach towel on my lap. And we're gonna continue on um, with it. We'll come here, over here, and we'll continue on. Oh, right about here. Oh, choppy like. I'll take it out. Spray bits and pieces there. Just like that. Come up in here. We'll go straight down. I'll take it over down. Now I'm rough with it because it's nothing but wet on dry. There is no um no um glycerin or anything with that okay so I can pretty much get away with doing what I'm doing there um and just just kind of give a nice little peak of shadow out there just like that all right okie dokie 
but we can pretty much we let it let it dry up and do its thing. All right. I don't want to add really many hot highlights or anything to this because once again, backlit mountain. All right, big big ass bird, and, and we're gonna have our we're gonna put our trees um, in the uh, in the water. So I pretty much got whatever I needed to get in here. I don't necessarily need to have um, any fog or mist or whatever. All right, we're gonna have a row of trees here. All right, it's gonna come down into the into the lake here. All right, so it will be a mountain with no um, Well, it depends. Um, it really depends on the elevation of where those mountains are, you know. Cause see, if the mountain's only five thousand feet high, eh, yeah, you're not gonna get much snow on them. But if the plateau is eleven thousand feet high, and then you got five thousand foot mountains on top of that plateau, now you're talking about fifteen thousand feet. Yeah, you're gonna get snow. Okay, so. Yeah, it all depends. Now, Arizona, New Mexico, they're pretty flat land. So, your mountains have to be of substantial height, which is about 14, 15,000 feet. And they'll, they'll get snow on them, you know. All right, we can remove this. We have what we have. We need what we, we got what we have for this. Okay. And I'll just lift it up off there. And there we go. All right, now we got a nice flat lake bed there doing this thing. Okay, I technically don't need no more of this. We're still relatively close enough for me to do what I need to do and you guys can see it. All right, all we have to do is slide that guy over there on the other side. Okay, all right. Now, to get this eagle really close to us, his wing, even if it's just the tip of the wing, it has to be um, in front of certain objects. So even if the wing tip is in front of this mountain, it's really in front of the mountain. We're gonna have trees here. That wing is gonna be in front of those trees. So the bird is gonna be extremely close to us. All right, you have one really good photographer to get, get, get that guy that close. All right. Yeah, it will be pushed back behind the bird the mountain will be pushed back behind the bird the um, area of land and trees will be pushed back because of that bird wing yeah yeah and we're gonna show that right about now we're gonna go back to our palette knife here all right um I do, 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 do. Uh, let's, let's get more red and we'll use some of this what we got left here i don't really want to waste paint so we'll use we'll use this okay and what we, you know when you're blocking in something this is plenty of paint to use so it's got red and it's got the other colors in it all right um this blue isn't technically dark enough but we will we'll use a smidge of the blue it won't really make it to make it bluish so it'll help when we add green later um, but now we got this weird funky gray thing happening it's gray purple happening with that we'll just take some black we'll deepen what we have here all right and all black is going to do besides add more paint it's just to make it a little darker okay i don't have to have it super actually what i can use with this before I go to the trees, we'll cover the rocks with this. We use some of this for the rocks. Because um, some of these rocks will be submerged. Submerged. Leave me alone. Alright. Okay, that was nobody. That was nobody. Okay, so we got a deeper gray here a little bit of purple into it all right okay so let's get a smaller brush we'll use a round brush today and let's bring the camera down a, a tad i'll keep it just as close we'll just aim the camera right downward like like 
like so. And we're gonna have to re-straighten it. Careful, careful, careful. There. You can see this. That should be good enough. You guys should just about see everything right there. I don't believe I have the focus and everything is there. All right. Now, they wanted reflecting um, pebbles in the water, which means that, let me show you something here. All right, this is the tutorial teaching part of this. All right, I'll, on purpose, I'll just, you know, I don't wanna use this. Let's just use, we we'll use the lead or um, the charcoal. Okay, you got the pencil, you got the rocks here, right? And yeah, I'll show you something here with all of them. I'll darken them all in. Okay. Even these guys. I'll darken every one. I'll darken every one. This is the part where you guys um, um, get to learn a little something here. Yes, I'm altering the size of a few of them. It's all right. Okay. So we have these rocks in there. All right. I'm reading the text. Yeah, the desert is hitting me. I lived in Tucson for six years. So I visited Mesa and you know, Gallus and Phoenix and, and all of that. So we were surrounded by uh, Mount Lemon and, and the Catalina. And, uh, there were three different names, but we were surrounded by those because Tucson's in a valley. So, Okay. Uh, here. This will do, everyone. Watch. Look. Look at this. Watch. Watch what I'm going to do here. See this? Reflection. Right here. Reflection. 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 And you pretty just mock as best you can the shape. The shape of them. But you see what you see what, what's going on here. Now you what you just done. What you just done, okay, you give yourself a water surface. Here's a reflection, okay. Did I forget you? I sure did forget you. How dare I? your reflections all right so now you know your water surface okay when you got reflections and you got you know these guys popping up around in here like this it it decreases the water level all right well, you can have your, your pebbles here and it can be deep as hell out here all right 
So right now we we have basically where the shallow part. Um, you, you got your shallow part of the water here. Okay. So you got automatic shallow water there. So we're gonna do our reflections and whatnot. Okay, right in there. All right. Yeah, the desert is different. Um, they, well, you know, I mean, some deserts got more more green. It depends on how much moisture they get over the course of time. Because if you go to Flagstaff, they get all four seasons. All right, you know, they get snow, they get summer, winter, fall, spring, they get the whole thing. If you go further south toward the Mexican border, a lot of that go away. They, they, just, they just go right into um, hot and wet. <laughs> That's about it, you know. And the only snow they really see is on the mountains out there. All right, but it's very, very, um, very unusual. You know, the United States, we get, we get, we get almost tropical stuff. Um, Washington State, Oregon, and stuff like that. Then you get a desert in Arizona, parts of California, New Mexico, and Texas, a little bit of, of, of that. Then you get the monsoon, the swampy stuff in Louisiana. It, it's very, St. Louis, um, uh, some parts of uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, you get the marshy stuff, Florida. And you get, yeah, the tropics, like Florida, you know. So it's very odd that the United States got a desert in it, but we do. So. Yeah, the high desert, well, that's like, um, what would be considered the high desert? What would it be like, um, in Mexico, it would be like Nevada. Some places do it. Get one, it will get cold in the winter time. Don't be surprised to hit hit maybe uh, even in the cities. It, it might hit fifty or forty degrees. And if it's that low, you know, a fifteen thousand foot mount, mountain will get snow and plenty of it. You know, so it's about a thirty degree difference. Um. Very unusual because I remember the last time I was in Tucson, um, it, it actually snowed on Easter in the city. And obviously, they don't get much snow in the city because it made the news in the front page paper. I, I thought it was hilarious. But then again, I'm from New York. You know, I'm from New York and I moved to a desert. So, you know, things what they, what they, you know, considered almost a miracle. I, I had to hold back laughter. Anyway, let's let's um, let's uh, do something with these rocks. Okay, it's just a different locale, different location. You know, I was an implant. These these people were born there, so we're gonna um, we're gonna paint these guys in. All right, and I'll, I'll use this color. We'll we'll pop them in there. All right, there's a method to my madness to why I'm doing these in this color for right now. All right, and let's do the big ones. I got plenty of paint on the brush. Let's get these done, so we'll knock these out right here. And once again, I'm just blocking these fellows in, okay? And since we're in shallow water here, the water relatively smooth um you're not gonna get giant wakes or whatever you only you know little rocks whatnot um so they're not really breakers or anything like that either you know just the rocks you would see that you can probably well some of the small ones I know you can probably just pick them up out of there with your hand you know the bigger ones you might need a little little assistance but they're manageable a big dude will be able to pick them up. All right. So 
once again, we'll block these fellows in. And I'm using, once again, fairly thick paint here. All right, no water or anything mixed in this because I want this stuff to dry up. So if you want your paint to dry, You know, I consider it kind of a compliment because if you guys are looking at my painting, which is coming strictly from my head, um, and it reminds you of a certain place, that's, 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 that's cool. I know I had one Hispanic fellow, that was on Facebook, and I did some kind of island scene. It was an oil paint, definitely, but you know how long ago it was. And the guy could not stop talking about the place my painting reminded him of, his grandmother used to take him. You know, I thought it was kind of an honor that one, he didn't know who I was and he would write that and it touched him to the point that he would write, you know, and let me know. Um, so when people do that, you know, consider that you're painting a success, you know, I kind of judge about how people feel about it, you know, because oh, um, when it all oh, boils down to it, majority of us paint like myself I paint to get rid of these things sell them and you know if, if that particular person enjoys it enough to to purchase it it must strike something within them to um, purchase it to buy it okay now as I'm doing this and I'm doing it with a round brush um, I'm getting it close to the pencil um, markings that I had but it's not exact and that's fine also okay I mean, it, it, it's, it's all right. I'll put my hand upside down here and do this. As long as I'm out of the way, I know you see my cheekbone, but. And, oh, that's right. Let me do, I'm going to do something with that, too. When you get a pebble that. Um, let me get rid of some of this before I continue on running my mouth. Okay, you see the top of that guy? Obviously, he's going to be covered with the same gray. All right. So I'll make a little space in between there like that. Just so that you know where the other rock is there. All right. Then we'll fill the rest in. All right. Come on up here. Once again, I'm just blocking these fellows in. But I want you to watch. I'm doing this because I want you to see what I'm going to do with the bottom half. Okay. Now, you guys can use this technique from what I'm showing you. Hopefully it will make it easier for you if you plan to do something along this line, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be this painting, but it might be a totally different scene, but it will utilize what you see here, okay? All right, as we're getting a little, a little thinner with the, with the paint, a little less. I'll just dip my brush into a little bit of water and it just makes it a little more maneuverable. Gives me a little bit more loose the paint so I can move a little quicker. All right, like that. Okay, all right, so we're gonna keep it moving. I am just, once again, just blocking in there. All right. No matter what shape you have the rocks, do you notice all the bottoms are kind of rounded, but they're, it's relatively flat. Okay, there's not a lot of weight and a lot of movement in that water. I'm just dipping the tip of my brush into the paint. It loosens it up and rolling my paint around like so. And we're going to continue on. Well, thank you, Linda. All right, right there. One of the benefits of a round brush, yes, I am checking my hand. You see if I. Okay, it's tacky there. I'm going to make sure I don't touch that glycerin right up there. And you guys still see me, okay? You guys still see the painting. I'm glancing up at the TV screen. Let's 
see that mess a little bit. So, all right, we're, we're good there. Any other correcting I can do when I place it in, uh, place the actual water there. That's all right. Gotta add the sound effect so it doesn't work. Okay. All right. And we let all that just tack up and do its thing. Okay. All righty then. So I'm still looking at it, still checking it out, blah, blah, blah. Looking, looking, looking. Seems to be cool. Okay. Um, let's add a touch of greenage to this gray. Big blob of green. We'll put it right up in here like that. All right. So it's green and this gray. And you guys can somewhat still see that. That's cool. All gooey and thick and crazy. We'll just use this same round brush, I guess. And I'm just going to um, block out um, the trees in here. Now, because of all that color, oh, you guys can't see that unless I draw back a bit. Actually, I don't want to draw back. I'll just lift the camera up. So hold on, hold on. I'll get you there. Hold on, hold on. Let me just muffle this right about there. Let's turn this back this way. Ugh. All right, we're good here. That's the edge. All right. Okay. So I'll start to sketch out the trees here. Um, and we'll put it about that tall. I'll come here and I'll just wisp out just left and right. That's like this, left, right, left, right. And we'll just put it all out there like this. Okay. I'm just looking to where things are going with it. Let's take, now this is thick globby paint. And I will come down here. Down and try to as straight as I can, straight as I can, straight as I can. Turn my brush around, I got more paint on the little side. Just like that. Alright. So that's the waterline of this batch of trees here. I'm gonna go right here, pretty thin right here. And I'm gonna do a little baby wisps left and right. Just like this. All right. It's more of a silhouette in the yellow I'm really hyped about. All right. You're not going to see too much water with this body of trees. Um, we'll put one right here. Cover that wing up. All right. Put it. Put that wing right in there. Still go left and right. Just like this. Once again, you're not going to see too much water in here all right i'm gonna get a little touch of water this paint is getting you can tell when it gets a little too thick you don't really want that either okay and um well we'll get another tall one way up here it really kind of lets you know where the bird is when i do this okay and once again, little bits of left to right. Let some of the uh, let some of the some of the uh, sunlight come through. Also, that'll help help you out. Well, we get another one right about here. Left to right, left to right, left to right. Just like that. Put it in there. You're going to get some as we go a little bit shorter and shorter. Okay. Now let's extend that a little bit. Let's straighten him out like that. Um, we'll have one right about here. Like so. We're going to just get a massive block. Um, uh, we'll come here and do it. We get some here. We get one right in here. Okay. 
I'm gonna go bring it downward, downward. We'll come down here, get a little, then we'll come back up with put another one up here, just like that. All right, get it down a little bit here. A little bit of something all up in here like that. All right, just like that. My trees are looking well. I can like that's not gonna matter. I can I can correct that because they're at a at a weird looking uh, a weird angle. And if so, I can just expand a couple of them to straighten them out like this. All right. So I can always tighten them up and, and straighten straighten all that out like that. Just make it a little larger on one side, and that uh, that I usually solve that issue. All right, see, straighten them right back out. All right, all right. I'm still looking, still looking, still looking. All right. I'm cleaning off my round brush very well because it is globbed um, with a lot of paint there okay let's take a um, tiny fan brush if I got one left um, I guess I can use this fella let's just go with a little bit of white and it turns some weird grayish there see get a little bit of that happening right there all right I'll get a little bit of water and make that paint a little loose okay so you, I don't have to add as much pressure when I put water in it and we're gonna put it on top of the globby stuff all right and just a slight joyous little tap yes you guys can still see it good I don't want to get rid of all of the dark green and I won't just like that Pop it in there a little bit. Don't get rid of all, all your greens though. All your deep colors. Don't get rid of those. All right. And I'll get some more activity going with them down below more than anything. I'll turn my brush around. Add some shapes here and there. In there. We'll put a little bit of that love in there. Now I'm going to do this in stages because sometimes it might need to be a little brighter. We'll see. All right. Just like that. Not all of them. Not all of them need it. Let me come out here. Just a little little touch okay I can add some grasses in here like this just like that you can pop a few little things in here like that for right now all right we got a little bit of love in here just add a few things there don't press too hard maybe Maybe just the edge, up to you, how you want it, you know, how you want, want to do this, all right, something like that, I don't, like I said, I don't really have to have it gaudy, looking super crazy, all right, that, that won't be necessary, I'll take a little bit of this blue, get a touch of yellow, we'll put it in there like this, a little hint of white, just like that. And we'll get some bit of little of, of green in there. We'll come over here. And what this does here, we'll put some grasses in there like this. Something like that. Uh, we'll skip one and we'll do one right here. When you skip one, it just gives you automatic depth. 
all right, your field of perception changes a little bit. And once again, we'll get a little quick push of some grasses in there, um, peeping through the sunlight a little bit. Okay. If you notice, I'm keeping the, the uh, all of this love on one side. Okay. We'll keep him dark and we'll put one in the front right here. Put one on front street right about here. Give it a couple of pushes of some grass there. Down here, get some grass in there. Like so. All right. You know you gotta put a little green on that tree in the front. Okay. He's, he's the showstopper. There we go. Once again, we'll keep it more or less on the right hand side, like that. All right, okay. He can be a little brighter than that though. We'll pump him up with a little yellow. Let's see what this yellow will do. A little bit of, yes, there we go. Put it in there. There we go. I like that. Let's give him a little something too. Let's not have him all alone. All right. Something like that. That's 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 cool. That, that'll work. Okay. Okay. I'm looking. I'm looking. Let's put some of that love over here. Just a little bit, and then we'll get some really brighter highlights in there. We'll bring this down a little bit. Give him a little love there. Um. He don't get too much love, maybe a little bit here. That's about all he gets over there on that side. All right, so we got a little bit of that happening. Okay, thank you, Billy. If you guys can, press that, press that thumbs up button or thumbs down button. I'll accept either one. All right, I'll accept either one. All right, so this is what we have um, going on so far. All right, everything is is more or less pretty much kind of uh, sharp. They're in focus. All right, um, painting right through the animal, painting through the whole thing. Okay, oh, ouch, all right. Let me take Mr. Camera very, very gently and we'll go right back down here, just like so, all right. That should cover everything. We're not in the way of anything. Okie dokie then. What are we gonna do with that? All right, because we're looking for reflections now. Okay, all right. So now, because we're gonna deal with reflections, okay, um, what I'm going to do for this is um, more than likely solid black. All right, but there's a way I'm going to do um, do these. Uh, it's going to incorporate either a round brush or um, the um, the um, the um, the rigger brush or the script liner. It is more popularly known. So I'm scraping up what I don't need here. All right, it's only 2.30. I know a few people who are usually on are probably at work or they don't know. Well, the notification probably popped up, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're at work because I know science working. Thank you very much oh sweet it's just layers okay you take you take one layer you build it you take another layer you build it um it's really not um etched in stone to use a fan brush you can use whatever brush you feel you can get the most effective look for your trees um just experiment okay just experiment all right but i am going to show you guys something watch what We'll use um we'll use the um we'll 
use the um, script liner brush for this. I'm going into my water. We'll put it right around here somewhere. Let's get some black. Yeah, nice gooey stuff. I gotta see where I put the water. Where did I put? Oh, there it is, right there. All right, water's over there. We're gonna make this gooey, thick black paint to an inky consistency here. All right. Thin brush, inky consistency. So this is thick paint, so I can move it around and we can really get this going here. Can you guys see it? Yes, you can see it. All right, we're good. All right. Um, let's take this guy, that little fella back there. Okay. I'm gonna make little water wavy things like this. Just like this. See this? Little wavy. Keep it as straight as possible. All right. There's a reason why I'm doing it this dark. And you'll see, uh, probably during the second half, or maybe this half, who knows. Out here, same thing. I'll just make it look like little wavy bits of water. Take your brush. You're gonna move your brush along often. All right, once again, there's a reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. All right. Now, if it doesn't look right yet, give it time. It will. The thing is, keep it, be true to the shape of um, the shape of your rocks above. Or, yeah, the shape of the pattern of the rock above. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Like some go a little further, some go a little closer, but it's all right. Here. It's like that. He's been looking for somebody who could save him instead of searching inside for what they gave him. A strong will, strong mind. Now, when you get to like towards another rock, you thin it out a little bit, make it a little more gappy. By another rock, all right. I'm coming on the other side and do the same thing. I'm getting plenty of paint on this brush. We're gonna stick it up here. Here. Once again, the reason why I'm doing it this dark. There's the reason. And there's the reason why I'm just using water and not glycerin for this. Also. Okay. <laughs> well, Hosuina, I pay attention to Bruce and Sonya and others. We do have a little bit of music going on back there. And I guess it, it does help. It does. Um, I like a particular, I like a different, uh, a, particular, a particular type of music I do. And I had just searched around for, for, um, for, um, uh, royalty free stuff. So I don't get hit, tagged, and all that other depressing stuff. Um, so, and I try to have it because I don't talk very loud, so I, I just have it, you know, just almost just loud enough. Some of the tracks are a little louder than others, depending on what type of instruments these guys are using for their for their music. Okay. Once again, toward the middle is fairly deep, but still, and when it goes to other rocks, you want a little bit of separation there. All right. And sometimes, like I say, sometimes the the water lines go a little bit past, and some do not. Got me. All right. Obviously, rocks are a little smaller. 
you can kind of get away with, you know. As long as you got the shape there, see? Then keep it as flat as you can. Please keep it level. Keep everything level. If you need your eye to follow something, it's there. Okay. And so let's see if you want to do it this way. Bring the bring the strikes out there like that. All right. And you go on the other side. Now you concentrate on each single rock by itself before you go on to any anything else. Okay. Just like that. As you get toward the top, the, the, the lines get a little smaller. Now in the middle, you start to thicken things up again, like that. Okay. Just like that. All right. All right. I'm just going into my thicker paint. Cause you don't want it too, too light to where it looks gray. All right. Then, you know, kind of defeats the purpose. All right, we come here. I'm using, I'm using, uh, or I'm keeping a little thin layer of white, um, in the back of the rock back there. There's a, there's a reason for that. All right, because it can be the wake of the rock or whatnot. Now my my paint is becoming gray. That's because I got too much water. And remember, I'm using a, a script liner, so it's not really the thickest brush in the world. So I have to be careful, so I'm, I'm going to just add a little more. Well, here we can join those two together. Yeah. All right, I'm going to thicken that up a little bit more black in there. All right. <clears throat> okay. There we go. We got a couple more. I want to do it in a way where, once again, I'm not really, well, these are tiny subtle, so I can kind of do stuff like this. Okay. Just like that. All right. So hopefully all these little water wavy lines are looking uh, like a little something something there for you. I'll probably go with a thicker, um, <clears throat> yep, you guys can still see it. All up in here. All right, and in here. Turn my brush around. I got paint on the other side. Like that. Okay. Like that. Now the one we have directly on the bottom here. Now, don't feel like you're missing anything. You're not. The tape is like right there. Where you see my fingernail. The tape is there. You're not missing anything. You're capturing exactly. You're looking at exactly what I want you to see. There. Oh, uh, we'll use a pretty good round brush. A round brush will hold a lot more paint. It's just for the bigger area there. And this round brush, it does have a thin tip on it. You have to hold it directly diagonal or perpendicular to the, pa to, uh, the paper itself. Get those thin lines off there. Like that. Okay. And I'll come up in here. These two can mash together. Let me get a little more black. A little touch of water. There. I'll Rub this around in here really good. I want it to be black, not gray. Mm, that's better. I'm going to use my right hand. And once again, keep it as straight as you can. Yeah, as straight as you can. That's a little bit. Let me just go right into black here. Because it's, it's, um, Two more down, so I'll go right into the, the black and do it again. Yeah, that's a little better. And we'll press. 
these are mashed together because they're in front of each other and this is the larger rock anyway get a little more keep it as straight as possible some come out some don't Again, keep it straight like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back, and you'll see what this is looking like. So let's pull back a bit. All right. So now you guys can get and see exactly what's going on there. And now I'll, I can hit the focus again, and it should look pretty sharp. Uh, for you but now look at look at how it looks just already look, look at the way it looks all right so we do have our reflections here okay and the water is fairly calm all right okay now I'm going to let have to let it dry Okay, that's cool. Yeah, as long as it's not too distracting. Um, I'm looking at the at the levels, and this is kind of below. Um, I mean, it's not even in the middle of anything. Um, but as long as you guys can barely hear it, and long, it gives you something to listen to when I'm quiet. Um, and I do have it set to loop, so it did just loop all over again. All right. Um, but I think what I got for you guys here so far is okay. All right, the total picture, I'll remove this for one second. Uh, I guess I can draw it back a little bit. You guys can look at the whole thing while I'm explaining stuff. Let's pull it back a little bit. Um, I guess that's somewhat okay. That's a cool. I'm not really doing anything else. If I am, I can just bring it back. So we'll keep it like this for right now. And excuse my finger. We'll pull in just about like that. That should be okay. You guys see everything. All right. <clears throat> now, you can see how the, all the colors are melding together. Okay. Everything melts together. And we got a little little pinch of, of our brightness just down there because everything's kind of settling down there all right okay um we have our reflections for the for the rocks on purpose we got those um obviously we can have and we most likely will have reflections for the uh for the uh for the little wood island there are the little trees okay will I do the reflections for the mountains I possibly um, could all right and those will most likely be a series of gray all right and I can most likely probably do that um, right now and then um, maybe later I can do the um, the color of the water and the um, um yeah all of in the bird okay so maybe we'll we'll do that we'll do the reflections of um the trees all right so if you look at the palette we you see that i have black down there i'm gonna get a one inch brush or at least a quarter inch brush i'm gonna wet it a little bit here all right i had to buy some new quarter inch brushes and new flat brushes because i beat these half to death let's go in, let's put yellow in this black like this and maybe let's turn the screen on so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing there it is all right all right see we got this yellow and black does make green this is what we have here let's add a little bit more black in there okay uh, <laughs> we'll add a slight touch of white in that 
it's just grayed up. You got this, you got this uh, gray green happening. We're gonna darken that though. Get some more black. It's still gonna be gray green. A little darker. Okay, we're gonna use this as our shadow or as our reflection color for the trees. All right. Oh, hopefully I got enough. All right. So, tree reflection. Let's first concentrate on this right here. I'll come in like this. Oh, the water's kind of. I'm using the edge. Okay. Get some little skips in there. All right. What I'm concentrating on right now is the land mass, not the trees. So, just where I think the land mass is going to be. And I'm going thin and thick and thin. And I'm crossing here and yonder. Okay. Try not to make it all even. Just like that. Just the landmass itself. That's it. That's all I'm concerned about. Now, for the trees, let's take um <clears throat> let's take this tree here. Obviously, this tree a certain height. And it's gonna get a little smaller. If you want to relay movement, you can bring some of that out a little more, in a little more, whatever. Just like this. So it's obviously gonna go past that rock. So now you're setting height standard everything else will probably we only got one tree taller than that that would be this guy right here this fellow and you'll paint him as such you can move the shadow around left to right a little bit but just like that and he's not the thickest tree in the, in, in, the, in the bunch come out a little bit like a little zigzag pattern and keep going all right you see where we're going with this here, let's do this one. He's not as tall, so he'll have an ending. Okay. So you generally, here, I have him come out here like that. I'll come back in like that. And it just makes me tend the water's moving. And maybe we'll stop him right about, uh, right about there for him. Then we got a couple of these guys here. They're not as tall, so we'll stop them. Um, we'll stop one right here. He's got another one. He's got a little friend. I'll just do it this way. He's got a little, a little friend that's a little bit taller, right around in there. Okay. Oh, I like that. He's taller. Not as tall as this one, but we'll make him a little longer. All right. Something like that. Oh, he's tilted. Let's straighten him back up. We'll bring him back this way. He's tall. We'll bring him down like that. All right. We got another one back here. He's taller than them. But he's he, in the background. He's just a little taller. So we'll put him there. We got this guy here. Okay, like that. We got another fella. We got two of them in here. And then I'll just take the tip of one and go this way. Tip of one and go the other way, like that. All right, there you go. All right, don't add no more, no less to what you have. You got it already. It's right there. All right. Okay. Okay. Our mountains back there. We can add those. We can be pretty sneaky and add, um, add these fellas. All right. Let's take a little touch of red. We'll put the red red in here. All right. And a little bit of black. All right. Like so. A little touch of water will thin that up a little bit. 
And if I add it white to the, it, it, all it is is really a darker form of, uh, of gray. All right, maybe I'll add a touch of white in there. Lighten it up a bit. All right. So we got this reddish and gray thing happening. All right, now the mountains. Let's, let's take this. We got plenty of paint I don't want to waste. So I'll take my brush and a, and a palette knife. I'll put the brush down here. I'll just press, squeeze some of that paint out of there. All right. Flip around, we'll do the same thing. Let's get some of that paint off that brush. Push it in here. Like that. Okay, but there was plenty of paint on that brush. A little, a little much. I'll just take what I got left. Get a nice thin edge there. All right. Okay, the mountains. Um, in here, well, was it? I don't know. Put a thin overline of it there. But here, the mountains in here. All in here. But look what I'm doing. Look at how I'm doing it. They're going to be packed in pretty, pretty good back here. Cross a little bit. Don't make them too thick. If you find you're, you're pressing a little much, just get a little, little bit more paint. I don't want to be heavy handed with this. A little tightly joined there. Now, how large you want to make this is entirely up to you. How, how much shade, how much um shadow you want for your mountain here up to you i'm gonna get a little touch of water go back and forth still picking up the paint i just wanted a little more loose so it flows a little bit better paint once again very light i'm using my right hand of it you want to go right across the tape with it okay now as i come by these guys i don't want to compete so i'll put a peak in there i'll put a peak here okay put a, another peak here Bring it down in a triangular fashion. All right. Uh, this peak is a little taller, like that. Got another little peak here. Peak's getting a little taller over here. And you know it's in an upside down triangular fashion. Get another little peak there. And bring it, bring it down. Okay, I think we'll stop right about there for you guys. I think that's manageable, manageable enough. And it lets everything dry. Now we have a few different versions of gray happening here. Uh, let's get rid of this for one minute. Okay. Um, we're pretty much almost centered. Let's push it back this way a little bit. All right. Okay. So. We have our sunset mountains. Eagle will be later. We got a little land mass coming out here. All right, this is uh, the only thing that's got glycerin is up top and you can kind of see it there. All right, well, maybe you can, maybe you can. Um, all of this 
is dry. Even the stuff I just put here, as you can see, is already dry. This stuff here is already dry. Once again, it's went on dry. Okay. One of the great things about acrylic. Gotta love it. All right. The rocks are shadowed in black. All right. But just because they look this way doesn't mean it's going to end this way because they do want reflection of the rocks. Okay. Uh, we're good with the mountains because the mountains are way in the back, back there. The trees are cool. All right. They're fine. Good where they are. All right. But wait till you put, oh, see what I'm going to do with the water. Now you assume that the water is going to be blue. And in most cases, 98% of the time it is blue. Okay. But we're going to talk about reflections. So we're going to glaze um, the sunset into the lake. All right. So who knows if there's not much going on. What's tonight? Thursday. Thursday night. I don't know who's on on Thursdays at the chicken sea. Um, but if there's nobody else on on Thursday, this would be this will be dry. It will be set and all that. Then maybe I'll continue and finish it off on um, later tonight instead of instead of tomorrow all depends on what's going on it's only three o'clock right now so we'll see but the only thing we really have to do um is well maybe i mean i guess i could glaze some colors on here to get it get it started and then do the rest um i can do that um i should do that um Maybe we'll, we'll do that. We'll stop it at that. But as you can see, we have different colors of basically gray. All right. We got our green gray. We got our reddish gray. Then we got black down here. Okay. Um, and the reason why I painted the rocks this dark is because I knew I was going to somewhat glaze the water. Okay. So we're going to glaze, do the water. Then we're going to put our rock textures on but we're going to mimic the rock textures on all of this dark you see here so it would give us a true sense of our uh, um, water reflection it is what they asked for so we're going to do it in that dance 87 how are you it's good to see you oh yeah you'll be in bed you'll definitely be in bed yeah Yes, most most definitely you'll be in bed. Yeah. Um, so that's why I'm debating right now if I should or should not. Um, I probably can quickly put the um, put the reflection in there. That it's not really terribly difficult to do. What I will do is get rid of some of this dry uh, paint. Let's get rid of this. Okay. There's a bit of paint really don't need anymore because I'm not going to glaze it with the well no I don't want to glaze it with the glycerin we can just use water um, and the reason why I would choose water because it's a lot more um, obviously water is a little more accessible than veg vegetable glycerin if you don't have it or you can't afford it um, then you still want to do the painting um, you can use water the thing with water is that you got a very short time limit. Okay. You want to make sure this stuff is totally dry so you don't reactivate. Um, okay. So that's why I was debating on what color or what to use really. Uh, all right. We definitely going to need um, our yellow to return. I don't necessarily think I'm going to need that black um, I don't think I'm gonna need that light blue either um, I can keep it there because I can use the shade of the rocks but we, we're definitely gonna need yellow uh, okay well, I'll just use this yellow it's all right this is artist loft they call it brilliant yellow I'll put it next to the white here. Mm, yeah. All right, we'll do this. Oh, let's go back to our. Well, no, we got enough red for that. Um, yeah, 
yellow. We got our blue. We got our red. I'm thinking. I think that's basically all I needed, really. And we got our white. And we got water. So I guess we're ready. Now uh, let's take a full one inch brush from this. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do this. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, how do I want to approach this? I guess I'll spray it. I'm gonna use a water bottle. We'll just we'll just quickly spray this. Now it's dry, so nothing's gonna run. It's totally perfectly dry. See, nothing's smearing, nothing's running. It's totally cool. All right, let's take the lightest color we got. What's that? That yellow. Take the yellow. All right. Simple, simple. Watch this. Oh, uh, we'll pop a little bit in there. It's no big deal. Uh, all, up, all up in here. All right. We'll kind of pop that yellow in there like this. Now we're using water. All right. So once again, super instinct glaze going on here. All right. The water helps thin it out and whatnot and what have you. We'll pop some of that in here. All right, I just went into my tree line a little bit. But it's all right. It did go into the tree line, but that's all right. And say if you didn't want it to go in your tree line, you can make it disappear. No, no biggie, just have it go away. I didn't really want it into the tree line. So we'll just kind of darken that, we'll bring that back. Get it out of there. Get it out of there. And plus, with the water, as long as you got enough of it in there, it, it, um, it'll blend really nicely. And trust me, only a touch of, um, of um, red. Don't, whoops, don't use too much red for this. All right, just a little bit. Red is very powerful. All right, so we're, gonna, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna play around with that. Go ahead, just like this. Now remember, we got the water in here that's gonna help blend all of that in there. Okay, just like so. Um, you can control the intensity of your red, of course. Up to you. I would, if I were you, keep it as straight as possible. Okay. We need more water. Let's just spray it real quick. Pop that right in. And once again, don't be scared to death using these colors either. There. It's a little bit better. Alright, don't be scared. Put it in there. Don't be scared. Don't be crying. Don't be scared. Don't get chicken on me now. Don't do that. Put it in there. All right. If you want to get, you can get away with it a little bit. If you come in here, because you want some of that intensity of that white, and you can slap some of the white in there. A little bit. A little bit, because it's extremely opaque. Be careful with it. All right. Just a bit. I will throw some in there like that. Some of that brightness in there, like so. I'm going to clean off my brush real fast and just go right across. Just like that. Um, I'm looking at things here as I'm doing it and talking to you. Put more intensity in this area and up in here. Remember, left and right, left to right. Left to right. Just do a little gentle like. I'm going to sneak up a little bit more red um, in this area here. Now you see why I use such a dark color. I'm going to need some more water soon. A little bit. I'm just using a slight touch of red. All right. The reason why I'm going this intense, especially back here, we'll put it in here. A little bit more intense back here. Yeah, in this little area there. And a lot more intense there. But it's wet, so we can move it around. OK. 
Okay. A little bit of blue, a little bit of blue. Okay, and you put the blue in on top of that red. Pop it in there. Move that up in there a little bit. And that's where that purple comes in. Okay. We'll touch a red just to bring that purple, a little more purple there. There we go, just like that. And see, you can do it in pieces. All right, you do a little bit here and move onward. So I will come over here, add some of that love this way. And don't be worried if it's a little too much of one color than the other. Don't worry about that. One, it's, the board is still wet, so you can still manipulate and move this stuff around. Okay. But it, it was just better for me to kind of uh, glaze it on. I'll get a little bit of red and blue together. We'll just mix it like that. And dip my brush into a little, wa little water. It'll come out this way. Kind of killed a couple of birds at once. Don't do it this way. Still go back and forth. Back and forth. Like that. All right. I'm going to play around a little bit more with the yellow over in here. Let's get a little shine and stuff going right in this area. It's just me now. Um, plain God. Let's see where I want to put stuff. I think it was better for me to do it now than to wait till later. But right now, like I said, I don't know who's coming on, so. Right in here, we'll add a little bit of love in here. Blend that in. Once again, you got a short window with water. Okay. A lot of this is starting to kind of cake up and dry already. Okay. Mm. Let's see if I can get a little bit more love right up in here in this area. There we go. And we'll just kind of lighten that up a little bit in this area. Now I can take a touch of white now. Slight touch, slight touch of white. We'll come in this area right up in here. I'll just rub it in there real quick. Just rub it in here. Rub a little bit of that in here. All right. And then I'll just take it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, going around. Okay. So now that I've got a lot of this already established here, we'll probably stop right around in there. Okay, so we got a bunch of that. Hey, Chrissy, how are you doing? Good to see you, Chrissy. <laughs> oh, Madonna. Ah, that's funny. Okay, so what we got here, let's make this disappear again. All right, so... We have our glazed or uh, our mountain stuff here, which we, when it dries, I can reglaze this. And you, you'll see how I do that. I'll just take a simple glaze and it brings all of that right back. Uh, same thing here. If I wanted it to, I can bring that right back. All right. Um, these guys, not so much. Um, I don't want them to. I'm going to do other things with it. All right. Okay. So we got our. our deeper water water and our reflections and such we're gonna build up off of that when we come back just because i just laid this color down don't mean it's done uh yeah no 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 we'll get some 
cute little things in here and we're gonna do it with a uh, probably a flat brush and we get some some glowy things in here using the colors that we have on here okay so it never really ruins the look or anything all right but we got a, um, a major portion of this painting as it refers to the, the overall look of the whole painting we got that pretty much complete now we're, we're, when we come back we're just gonna, we're gonna play in the water and make some rocks uh, and then get our reflections uh, in there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the rocks down then try our best we're gonna mimic what we have on top in the water and then when that's done all right then we'll add our our little water lines and such in there just to um, convey that it's shallow water but we're not going to overpower all of that with, with all, all of that because it's not really rough um, water it's you know, pretty calm seed okay okay so at least I, I went this far I did that much by the time I come back on all of this will be dry and then we'll get to get all right Oh no. What is he? What is he? You, you, he got chili beans on his hands. He do, he has heard of a fork. You guys got forks over there in Europe, right? never dull when we have a man named Mully rummaging around the house. I think Chrissy has a special number on her phone for whatever their emergency broad, broad response team is. You know, we dial 911 out here. So, you know, maybe she has a special number that says 1-800 Mutley needs help. You're welcome, Jose. Yeah, I'm about to, to pack it in. Like I say, it's a little bit after three o'clock here. And um, let's say I don't know who's doing what tonight, this evening. Um, we'll see. If there's nobody doing anything, then I'll come back. Oh, listen, Chrissy. You know, you guys' terms out there in, in, the, in the UK, a lot different than out here. You know, that's rough. Reynard, okay, gotcha. Cause it looks like he said he got, he got chili beans on his hand. Remember we're Americans, chili beans. You remember what happened with Pukak, right? All right. Let's see, Good. thank goodness we're not in government. We would have had like, um, we would have had like uh, uh, like 15 international incidents already, just being in Chrissy's group. <laughs> hey, Joe, how are you? Good to see you. You're here just in time today. Well, cool. Listen, ailments. I know sometimes you just have to grin and, and, and endure it's the best the best medicine. You know, you think about it too much, you just go crazy, you just go mad. Oh, Joe L, you're here just in time for the beginning. Like I say, I may go on a little bit later. It depends on who's on. Um, DJ says she's on tomorrow night. So I got to feed the pooch. Um, I got to take her out. You know, all that all that fun, fun stuff. Oh, yeah. That word is now in the new uh, Sonya lexicon. You know, she has adopted it lovely. All because you know I I didn't I didn't uh, pay attention then again you know your accent too especially if you say it fast because I had to stop myself I'm like what did she just what and then you said it again but I was so concentrated on wondering what the hell you said when you said it again I thought you just repeated it so 
Poop, poop crack was born. All right. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you're here, Joe. Oh yeah, that's for, that's for Friday night. Friday night. Friday night chat along with Sonya. That's right. Okay, I'm an, enough enough of me running my mouth. Um, yes, if I choose to come on uh, tonight, we will. Well, here's the thing. If I do come on, it will be a long one because after I get done playing with the water, okay, which really won't take terribly long. The water, um, you know, we can, you know we'll take care of that. The rocks, I'll show you how to do those. That'll take a little time. What will take time is that guy. All right, we got to do the eagle right. Okay. Um, yeah, this is like one of these paintings where I'm going to probably spend the majority of time um, really painting in Mr. Eagle. Okay. Um, yeah, I do have a reference photo for um, the eagle. Okay. So. Yeah, he'll, he'll put the big eagle in there. Um, the eagle will be the giant centerpiece. And um, once he's put in there, you're going to see how everything else. As of right now, you just can't tell. And for those of you who popped on, you can't even tell the eagle's there. But um, he's about that big. <laughs> he's in there. All right. He's definitely in there. He's in front of the mountains. He's in front of the trees. All right. So technically speaking, he is... Uh, the way he's located and how he's positioned, he's actually flying wise. He's past the rocks. Okay. So his right wing can smack me right in the forehead when he flies by. All right. Oh, do you really? Tomorrow? Oh, well, tomorrow afternoon for you means five or six in the morning for me. But that's cool if you are on. Um, I get to chat with you. That would be great. Well, Sweetie and I, we have a good time. I watch her paint, we chat, and I get to hear her husband yell at the dogs. And then the dogs turn around and cuss them out. So, it's kismet. It's a beautiful thing. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I do appreciate you. I really do. Um, I shall, if I don't return um, tonight, I may return tonight. Um it'll be sometime um tomorrow okay so we can knock this out and get it done and i'm gonna warn you here to most likely be a very long one um because i want to complete the water complete the rocks and the reflections and do the eagle but who knows if it you know it all depends on how i feel if i think i can um pull it off i'll pull it off if not then i'm gonna stop wherever i stop Okay, cause, um, but once again, these, these sessions are, are a little bit longer and I want to try to show everybody um, how to do these. These are requests I'm doing. Killing what, two birds or so? With one stone with this one. I'm doing reflection rocks and water, shallow water. And I'm doing a sunset mountain scene with an eagle. So I just got the lake in there, the calm lake. I got reflections going on. Even though they want reflections, the rocks, but we got the, um, we're going to put that the trees and the mountain reflections in there also <clears throat> so all right guys i'm out of here you take care i shall see you when i see you peace